Reckless and serious disruptions on the M25. The Assistant Commissioner at the Met, Matt Twist, has confirmed that uh, police arrested three people last night, a further 23 today. Officers saying they're expecting to apprehend more people this evening. Well, according to the recent figures uh, released, more than 10,000 officer shifts had to be dedicated to policing the Just Stop All protests since the start of the action in October. Well, to break down the issue further, we're joined now by former Detective Chief Inspector Mike Neville. Mike, thanks very much indeed for joining us. Um, clearly, it's, it seems to be a two-stage protest, and that is identifying those people who have actually carried out the protests and then going through the process of uh, uh, getting them charged and, or arrested and charged. But what we're learning about last night is that people were apprehended before they could carry out any protest. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, what's happening now, the police are using the conspiracy laws, which enable them to arrest anybody who's like makes an agreement with another person to commit crime. So obviously, there's a conspiracy to cause uh, public nuisance here. And it's good to see that the Met are being proactive about this and actually getting hold of these people before they can cause serious disruption. Because as we've already seen, it's not just people who just want to get to work or get their kids to school. It's also people who want to get to a hospital or, or ambulances and fire engines and police cars being being stopped and that young lady we saw it's, it's rather tragic but it's almost like these people are part of a cult there's an absolute need to uh, believe it's the end of end of times the end of days the world's going to end it's some sort of bizarre religious thing but if they want to do this and protest as has been said they could join a political party or they could march around hyde park or around parliament square and make their point but the problem is at the moment they're causing massive disruption and probably costing lives yeah, I mean, that is the difficulty. I mean, civil liberties mean you have to have the right to protest and, and to have your voice heard and uh, perhaps even take direct action if you feel it necessary. But where, where does the, the line get drawn? Because clearly trying to prove conspiracy in a court case is going to be a very difficult thing. Well, I imagine there's all sorts of uh, emails that have been exchanged. There'll be all sorts. Of, they may, the police may have been recording conversations. Uh, there could have been. There's all sorts of evidence that will show that people are acting in unison together with messages on WhatsApp or on the mobile phone, text messages. So, given that they can seize these items, especially the computers and emails, they can show that there is a, a conspiracy. And you're right. We don't want to live in a country where people can't protest. But there's you can legitimately protest without bringing misery to millions of people. They then simply don't support your cause and also probably more uh, bad the worst thing is that the, the the risking lives by blocking emergency vehicles so yeah yes legitimately protest but do not do what they're doing at the moment